Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it is not baby related. My baby's just here because she was getting a little antsy and dad's taking a shower so he can't watch her while I film. Today's video, I am finding the perfect leather jacket. I actually already have a leather jacket. I will insert a clip of me wearing that right now. So here is my leather jacket. I love this jacket for many reasons. One, the sleeve length is a little bit long. I like to wear sleeves that are a little bit long sometimes. Whenever I wear sleeves underneath, they don't stick out. This one reaches them. But if they're getting on my nerves, I can unzip and roll them back. That's not necessary, but that is kind of a nice thing. Also, I like the length of this. I wear a lot of high-waisted jeans, but even if I don't, it will still meet up with low-waisted jeans. I used to be able to zip it, but I had a baby, so... And I'm breastfeeding, so my boobs are bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I can still zip it. I like to be able to zip it and it look slim and like look good like this because if it's cold, I want to be able to zip it up and that keeps that warmth in a little bit better. So those are things I'm looking for. Mainly just the zipping part and also that it fits me not like super broad and everything and I want it to be comfortable as well. This jacket, let me show you how much it's falling apart. As you can see, maybe it's like peeling really bad right there. It's also peeling on the inside and it just makes a mess every time I wear it. It doesn't look bad yet, so I might donate it, but I don't know, I feel bad donating something that's falling apart like this. So we'll see, I might end up throwing it away. I don't know if anybody would want this, even if it was free. So as you can see, it is falling apart pretty badly. I've had it for years. Um, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It was my go-to jacket that I wore almost every single day because it's decently warm, but it's not like super warm, like this big black coat that I have. And it looks good with a lot of things, and I have black boots that I can wear with them. I just got new ones because my black boots were also falling apart. I would show them to you, but I already threw them away. But the sole was like literally ripping off at the bottom. So I felt like it was about time that I got a new leather jacket. Now, normally I would go to the mall and I would try on a bunch of jackets and find the perfect one, which is what I did to find that one that's falling apart. And I did that, like I said, a few years ago. But I have a two-month-old baby. So I can't really do that right now because we're not taking her into stores because of COVID and also just infants don't have very good immune systems. So I decided to order a bunch of jackets on Amazon and try them on for you. And they're all Amazon Prime items, so I have free returns. So I just take them to UPS and UPS packages them all together and ships them all to, back to Amazon together. So I will be picking my favorite and I will be showing you guys the process and I will have hopefully one new leather jacket at the end of this. Hopefully one of the eight fits <laughs> because when I bought that other one I spent an entire day looking at jackets in a mall and I believe they're all under $50 too so if you're interested in any of them I will be sure to link all of them below and yeah let's get started. So I put them all into this box. And I'm going to have to be very careful to keep them organized because, like I said, I am returning seven of them and I need to make sure that I send the right ones back with the right labels. <laughs> I got them all in a size small. The first one, faux leather jacket, fitted slim outerwear, black small. If you hear squeaking in the background, she's talking to herself in the mirror. Isaiah's still in the shower. All right. Came packed with a bunch of paper. Oh man, this one looks really big. Here's the first one. It has a big collar which I can fold down. It'll look a lot nicer. Got zippers in a couple different places. Crosses over in the front. And I believe this this button goes here whenever you're not wearing it. Or maybe when you are wearing it, that might look good too. Just like the other one that I used to have. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. But this just looks like it's going to be too big for me. Um, let's... Try it on though. Can't be judged till it's on. Okay, so it's not as big on me as I thought. The sleeve length is really good. Zips on it. Let's see how it looks zipped up. I'm gonna hold her for a little bit and face her out so she doesn't drool on the jacket in case I return it. <laughs> so I looked in the mirror and actually it is slightly baggier, but I think it looks better because the other one had started to get too tight since I had a baby. I'm breastfeeding, my boobs are bigger, my stomach's slightly bigger. Yeah. My hips are slightly bigger, so I think that I like this one better and it doesn't feel so tight either. It doesn't look weird and it doesn't feel so tight. So I actually really don't know my size which is why I had to order so many because this, I thought I picked it up and I was like this looks like it's too big but it actually fits. Yeah? What do you think Marmar? <laughs> so the n number one I actually like so far. 
So um, let's move on to jacket number two. Had to take a break to feed the baby, but we are back. Moving on to jacket number two. This one's from Shein. So I'm coming out of the bag. This looks just like the last one, being that it is zipped up. It has a thing right there, but I don't see where it buttons to. Same with this side. Already has points off for that. Yeah, I've already decided I don't, I don't like this one because it doesn't have a place for these flaps to button and they just kind of like flop around. It looks weird. But we will finish the review. It feels a little bit tight on the elbows. It doesn't have the zippers on the sleeves. But the sleeve length is good. It's a little bit shorter than the other one, which I don't mind. But it would be nice if it was a little bit longer so that I can wear it with low-waisted jeans as well because it's kind of perfect for these high-waisted jeans. Perfect length. Oh, also this looks weird, this little cutout thing. But it does fit. But compared to the last one, I like the last one better because of this weird, there's nowhere to button it issue. That zipper's real. Okay, let's move on to number three. Number three is also from Shein. Shein Women's Faux Leather Moto Jacket Zip Up. Outwear tops black, extra small. Oh, I thought I ordered them all in small. This one's an extra small. That last one said US size too. Let me see what size it was. Okay, I was wrong. Number two is an extra small. Number three is also an extra small. All right, so this one has the zippers on the sleeves, but they're fake. They don't actually do anything, so that's weird. But again, I said that wasn't a deal breaker. It wasn't a big deal. The length is good. They're just slightly too long. There's a loose string there. Oh, but it went away. That's good. This has the button, but again, nowhere to stick it. This one has buckles. Oh, the zipper goes to the opposite side. That feels so weird. The length is good, and it's kind of cute that I could buckle it. This one really reminds me of, like a biker. Oh, but it just bothers me that this doesn't have anywhere to button to. And I liked the first one, so first one's still winning. Let's move on to jacket number four. Jacket number four, the Ashini. It's a weird name. Gold instead of silver zippers. Baby magically appears. This one's interesting. It's got these little detailing, like braided looking detailing on it. I'll give you a close up of that. See that braided look? This one doesn't cross over and zip on one side. It just zips down the middle and it has a little button on the neck. It's hard to hold you when I'm filming a video. Oh, it also doesn't have the fold out collar like the other ones did. This one is a size small. Look at them. Look at the camera. It feels kind of baggy. The sleeves are a little bit too long. I don't like this one. <laughs> like, it's it's okay, and if this is what you're looking for, then this is good, like in a leather jacket, but I like the fold-out, like the collar and the fold-outness whenever it zips. Give her a rattle, so you might hear that in the background. Yeah, I don't like how this zips up the middle. It makes me look like a lesbian biker. <laughs> oh, but the pockets are real. That's really nice. The length is good. Let me go look in the mirror, because I like that it has real pockets. Okay, I looked in the mirror, and with this haircut and this middle zip, I 100% look like a lesbian biker, like I said. But I do love that it has real pockets. That's nice. And I like the gold, because it matches my phone. My phone case is black with, like, a little gold ring on it. I just don't like this one zipped up. But it looks nice un unzipped. This one is actually kind of competing with the first one. I might have to ask Isaiah about this. So this is jacket number four, and we're gonna go on to number five. Here is number five. This one's from Romwe. This one has the crossover zip without a collar. Silver hardware. The button is backwards on this one. Oh, this one's really thin and cheap feeling. And the button is backwards, like there's nowhere to button it to. Sleeves are good, no sleeve zipper. The material feels awful. We'll zip it just to do the full review. Oh, zipper doesn't even work very well. It's a good length and it fits me. Now I'm curious about pockets. Pockets are real in this one. I'll have to go back and check the first few to see if their pockets are real. Because my jacket, the pockets were fake and I always hated that. But yeah, this one definitely gets a no. It's super uncomfortable. Romwe is cheap like that, so. That was number five. Let's move on to number six. I checked real quick. Jacket one does have real pockets. Jacket two does not. Here's number six. The brand is Jichik. G-H-I-C-H-I-C. Women's faux leather 
with pockets, size small. All right, so we've got the collar with the things and it does have a place for the buttons to go, yay. It also has a buckle. Are these pockets real? Real pocket, real pocket. I don't know what you would put in there, that one's tiny. Maybe some coins. Real pocket. We love when women's clothing actually has real pockets. Very rare. All right, let's try it on. This one is a size small. Oh, and it has these things on the shoulders, which are just, they don't have any function, but they look cute. My old ones had that too. Sleeve length is good. No zippers. It's kind of baggy on the sleeves, but not a big deal. It's, it's going, it doesn't, you can walk out. You're good. It stops right here at the pantry. You're not in the frame, I promise. He just got out of the shower. Sorry, I'm almost done. I'm on number six of eight. This was a little long, actually. Oh, it's it zips on the right side again. That just feels so weird. Yeah, this feels baggy. I like the first one better, but I do like that this one has a buckle. But since it's since it's too big, the buckle's like too low. It needs to be like right here, but it's down here, <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Oh, I really love that it has real pockets. Like the first one did too, so that's good. I'm excited about that. It's so funny that the first one I tried on is my favorite. <laughs> All right, so this is number six. We're gonna move on to number seven. Okay. We're almost done. Number seven is another Shein. Shein woman zip up faux fur leather cropped moto jacket. PU, <laughs> PU short outerwear coat, black, extra small. I guess I got all the Sheins in extra small. PU is a type of leather. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's what happens when you have a furniture technician as a husband. He tells you these things. Oh, this is the short one. I remember seeing a cropped one on there. Oh, this is really short. This doesn't go over anything. There's buttons, nowhere for them to button to, so they're flopping. Now, if you want a little bitty jacket and you don't care about zipping it up, here's how this one looks. It's very cropped though, like super cropped. I'm not keeping this. I kind of just got it to have a variety so all the jackets weren't exactly the same. And I thought I might like it, but it's even shorter than it looked in the picture. So are you. I zipped it up. Like, literally, my boobs are right here. <laughs> Babe, look at this jacket. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is just, like, not, literally not going to keep you warm. It's just for it's fashion. fashion for sure. Yeah, it's fashion. It does have the sleeve zips. Obviously, no pockets, because there's nowhere for them to go. It's kind of cute, but, like, definitely not keeping this one, because... I'm looking for something that will actually keep me warm. So this is number seven. Let's move on to the last jacket, number eight, and then we'll decide which one we're keeping. Although, so far, I really like the first one. That lesbian looking one was kind of nice too. So we'll show Isaiah after we look at number eight. Here's the last jacket, number eight. This one says Tanming. That's the brand, Tanming. Alrighty. Has the collar with these. Nowhere for the but place to button it. No place for it to button. Um, real pockets. Silver hardware. Let's try it on. Feels good. Sleeves are kind of big and don't have the zippers, but the length of the sleeves is decent. These are kind of heavy, so they don't flap, so that's good. Because even though they don't have somewhere to button, they're staying in place. I think they maybe like folded them really good, so they don't want really... Let's zip it up. If I can get the zipper in. That's comfortable. I think the length of it is good. It has these little buttons for detail. I love that it has real pockets. I'm so excited about that. That was the only thing I hated about my old jacket. And it has this little baby pocket. <laughs> Marmar said, baby, that's me. I actually like this one. So it's between number one, number eight, and I don't remember the number of the other one. I'll put that on the screen, what number it was. So I'm gonna show these three to Isaiah and we're going to decide the perfect jacket for me. Babe, you don't have to come into frame, obviously, but I need you to look at me and talk. I'm going to show you three jackets. This is number eight. Don't let that be confusing. <laughs> is that what Marmar has to say? Our daughter says one word right now. She's two months old. It's not a real word. It's aku. Aku. It's so cute. <laughs> If I get that on camera at some point before I post this, I'll put in a little clip of her saying it. It's really cute. This one? That's exactly like the one you already had. Yes, which is good. I want one. It has real pockets though. My other one didn't. This doesn't have anywhere for it to button to, but it doesn't 
flop around. Like, it kind of stays in place, so it doesn't matter. The, there was a couple other ones that they flopped around. It was weird. The length of it's kind of longer than I want, I think. I think I want it to be, like, more like right here. But, yeah. So this is number eight. Here is number one. This one feels softer. And this one has... I don't like that. Just, does it look different? It gives more of a Vivian Volcom vibe. What's different about it? I don't know. It's more like... Oh, the zippers are sideways on this one. The cuff zips are not definitely not it. This? Yeah. That's what my original jacket was. So I don't like that. And this one also has like this detailing on the sleeves. And the shoulders. It has like little stitching. Little stitching details. So you like number eight better than this one? Okay. Wow, number eight has beat number one in Isaiah's book. And now we're going to show him the third option. This one has very different vibes. Look, babe. It doesn't have a collar. You don't like it? Look at it zipped up. I straight up look like a lesbian biker when it's zipped up. Don't I look like a lesbian biker? A weird sheen? Yeah. So this is the one you like? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put on the last jacket and we're going to do some final thoughts in our winner. Number eight was the winner. I haven't even looked in the mirror in this one, but Isaiah likes it. He says it has a good sheen. Do these sleeves look too big, though? So will I have to continue my search, or will this one do? Alright, I'm going to go look in the mirror, and then I'll come back to get the final thoughts. Although I do take Isaiah's opinion extremely highly, after looking at the two jackets in the mirror, I think this one just fits me better, because the sleeves are less baggy, and this just fits a little bit tighter. It's still loose and comfortable, but that one was just a little bit too loose, I think. And I'm, I'm used to this, the sleeves, because that's how my jacket was, although mine actually opened and you could like flip them back. This one just loosens, so I can't flip them back. But I'm used to having zippers on the sleeves, so it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, I think I just like how this one looks on me better. Sorry, babe. So here's the winner! This one was number one, <laughs> the first jacket that I showed you guys. And I will put the price on the screen for the one that I ended up picking. And I need to hurry up and return the other ones because they've already gone on to the statement for my card. And that's a lot of money charged, and I need to return them so I don't have to actually pay for them. Don't be like me. Don't charge stuff on your credit card that you don't intend on keeping. <laughs> Yay, we have a winning jacket. Because I like how this one looks zipped and unzipped, and the other one kind of just looked a little bit awkward. I'm excited. I can take this off because I'm keeping it, even though all the other ones fell off on their own. The winner! Okay, so... If you enjoyed this type of video, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below what other types of videos you want to see that are similar to this. This is just, I made the video as an excuse for, I don't know, I was going to buy these jackets because I needed a new leather jacket because it's my go-to everyday jacket and I was like, might as well make a video about it. Someone's going to find it interesting out there on the internet. Somebody else is looking for leather jackets somewhere on the internet, so if you're new to the channel then... I have a bunch of random videos like this, but mostly I do travel vlogs. So yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you know when my next video comes out. And comment below which jacket you would have picked. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!